Good morning class, class 3, welcome back. We will start with the same chapter, chapter 4, the internet and introduction. Okay. So children in my last class I have done internet related terms and I discussed three terms that is web browser, www that is world wide web, web page, hyperlink. Okay. I have discussed four uh, related terms of internet. Today I am going to do page number 51, okay? And uh, before starting my ch chapter uh, lecture, I must tell you children, computer has a different words, different names, okay? Which is not the words that we don't use in our day-to-day -day life, alright? So please try, listen carefully and try and understand it, alright? So let's start with the new... Uh, topic a uh, uh, term for the internet that is website nowadays because internet has become very popular and very uh, common and very needful for us so now i believe some words it's very uh, it's very uh, friendly to you all so website a website is a collection of related web pages these web pages are connected to each other through a system of hyperlink. A website is like an electronic book that can have a number of digital pages. To move from one page to another on a website, click on the links or hyperlink. Alright, what is a website? It's kind of a book. Like, like we have a book which contains lots of pages. So internet also contains the pages. We do not need, you cannot only see one page in internet. You have many pages. When you can elaborate it, you can add the pages also. All right. So the pages we do not say it as a book or a page. We call it as a website. When we open a, if you open a school website, you'll see lots and lots of things in a school website also. That means you can see everything. You have a school calendar. You can see the activities, programs, books everything is there so that is called in in one page it can it cannot be contained in a one page so it needs lots of pages for all these activities and the calendars and everything so this is what is known as your website for example gmail wikipedia facebook twitter and so on there are so many internet websites which you can use and it does not contain only one page it has lots of pages so that's why it is called a website then the next is your home page the opening page or the main page of any website is known as the home page this page contains introductory details about the active website along with the links to the interlinked web pages now home page the first when you open your book you see the master page yes or no you see the contains so in the computer also in the internet also there is the first page of the book website that is called your web page sorry home page where you'll see the first content of your uh, pages all right like suppose if you open a computer book the first thing on the book page you'll see the name of the like here you have the first page of the book where you have the name of a company alpha 3 class 3's book and this is the first page so here we say it is a first page but in computer we say it's a home page okay so now we have the next topic is url 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 stands for Uniform Resource Locator. A website is identified through its URL, which is a unique address assigned to it. A URL is commonly known as a web address. Web addresses begins with HTTP, then you have the or W S HTTPS or www for example you can see https <coughs> www.wikipedia.org 
comma as r or it's after comma it's r http you have hyphen www.pitara.com so this is the address like children you all have your home address your personal addresses you so, know some of you stays in Kalimpong ninth mile some of you stays in a silly goody some of you are in Bing Bihar in some other states in other places or in other countries yes or no so you all have a particular address suppose uh, if I say then I'll say Rockwell Academy ninth mile Kalimpong so this is the address of a school in the same way there is address but in computer we do not write Rockwell Academy ninth mile Kalimpong we have a different uh, way often of to address ourselves, isn't it? Of an address, uh, of an address. So, so how do we write? How do we address it? It is just like we can do. Sometimes I tell you to find out in www.com. Suppose if you want to know about the Barbie doll, you can write www.barbiedoll.com. So all the details of the Barbie doll comes on the screen. Yes or no? So suppose if boys wants to know about the sports or the sports uh, hero heroines, you always address it with www or https or this. Or if you want to see the school address also, school in the website, you can always address www.rockwellacademy.com. So you can see the details of the Rockwell Academy. So this is how we address in the internet we cannot write uh, if you have to see the rockwell in the internet you cannot write rockwell academy ninth mile kalimpong you have to write www.rockwellacademy.com all right so this is the address in the internet this is the way of making address and so what we call it url we don't say its address we say it url uniform resource locator all right then we have search engine suppose if you want to search something in the internet how can you search it we call it a search engine the internet is a huge storehouse of information to find any information available on the internet you can use a search engine you can find out anything as it is an ocean you all know it's an ocean of knowledge so you need you, you need anything is available in, in the internet so how can you find out let's check out here a search engine is a program that searches for information on a specific topic over the internet all you need to do is to enter a keyword or a keywords related to the information you want to search for therefore sorry thereafter the search engine scans the internet and displays <coughs> sorry a list of hyperlinks of websites that may contain contain information related to your search google is the world's most popular search engine some of the other examples of search engines are bean search or yahoo search Suppose children, if you want to buy something, if you want to know about anyone, suppose any sports person or any uh, uh, cartoon character, you can always search about them. Okay, on any personality you want to know, suppose uh, Mahatma Gandhi, Indra Gandhi, anything you want to know. So to, today's Pre uh, Prime Minister, Mr. Narendra Modi, if you want to know about them, you can always search where he is from how old is he is any information related to such uh, personalities or any cartoon characters your favorite cartoons or any other sports person you want to know you can always search from the with the help of search engine there are uh, many search engines in the thing like google is the world famous you all know as you have a mobile phone at uh, at home you can always see the google on the screen you can search from the google or you also have bing search and yahoo search engine where you can type your necessary suppose if you want to know about narendra modi you can always type www.narendramodi.com and the details of narendra modi will come in the form of a hyperlink and how do you see the hyperlink it's a blue line okay if you click on that blue line you'll see all the details coming on your screen so in this way you can search about your um, uh, what you want to know about information that you want to know you can always search from the internet then the next topic is opening a web browser 
how can you open a web browser all right let's see here you can access the internet only through a web browser there are therefore before using the internet one must learn how to open a web browser how can you open a web browser using microsoft edge here we are talking about uh, windows 10 okay so windows 10 has microsoft edge microsoft edge is the default web browser of windows 10 let us learn the different methods to start Microsoft Edge web browser. It's a web browser and how can we search it? Let's check out. To start Microsoft Edge web browser, click on the start button, select the Microsoft Edge or option in the menu. When you click on the start button, you'll always see a menu, start a menu coming on the screen. From there, you can get the varieties of options. Like here we have in the book, it's showing mail, maps, messaging microsoft edge so now where where you have to click on microsoft edge click on microsoft edge as shown in figure one also or simply double click on microsoft edge icon present on the desktop if you have this icon on the desktop you can easily double click on it clicking uh, click on microsoft edge icon available on quick launcher on the tax bar or you can always have the Microsoft Edge icon on the task bar. You can also click from there. Okay, you have an icon. If you click over there, this page will open on the screen. It's shown here. Can you see here? This page. It is in your book. You can open your book. In page number 52, this page is showing the Microsoft Edge web browser appears on the screen as shown in figure 3. So what does it show? It shows a refresh button, address bar, search bar, tab, back button and display area. So let's see what is the function of refresh button. This button is used to reload the current web page for the recent version. Address bar, the web address or URL of a website is entered in the address bar of a web, web browser tab. Each website opens a new tab. It is like a new page on the same screen. Search bar. This area is used to enter keyword or keywords to search for information on any topic. Back button. This button navigate to the previously visited page. Forward button. This button navigates you uh, to the next line after accessing the previous page. Display area. It displays the co contents of the active web page. So these are the uh, functions of each buttons given here. Please keep in your mind. This is very important. Please learn this. This is going to come for your final exam. All right. This is very important. Now we come to the next topic, opening a website. How can you open a website? Let us now open a web website. To do so, follow the given steps below. You can try it in your mobile phone also. If you are using a mobile phone, you can use it and you can do it. Enter the web address or URL of the desired website in the address bar. As I have told you, you have to write the URL, the address like www.rockwellacademy.com. For example, www.wikipedia.org. You can try this also or you can try your school address that is www.rockwellacademy.com. Press enter key. The home page of the website appears and this will open on the screen. Now if you open your Rockwell Academy website, then the Rockwell home page will open on the screen. Now you can check out by doing this. Then. The next is online safety practice. It is very important to keep your mobile phone or your computer or your laptop safely. Or, okay, it is like when you are using internet, you are connected with thousand and thousand computers or lab uh, of this world. So it is very important to keep your things safely. So how can we do this? Let's, let's see here. The internet is a virtual place where you can meet and interact with hundreds and thousands of people. Sorry. Like the real world, the virtual world also has some rules to follow in order to stay safe. Therefore, it is quite important to follow some internet safety rules which are as follows. Children, in our life also we have to take care of our 
things it is not that that you are at home you can open your doors and windows every time open so anyone can come inside and take away your things from your house or from your classroom or from your bag you always keep your things safely by uh, locking it up you lock your bags you lock your rooms you lock your house yes or no so same here we have to follow some safety rooms uh, sorry safety rules like we are doing virtual now we are all virtual we are internet we are doing everything through internet so we have to follow some safety rules so what are that let's check out here first and the foremost always use internet under the guidance of your parents never use internet alone okay please always follow the instructions of your teachers or your parents or elders all right do not share any kind of personal information with anyone online especially without your parents permission while using internet now you are using internet computers and mobile phones please do not share any personal information with any unknown people or maybe your best friends or your uh, very close friends or close family friends okay do not share any information with anyone avoid chatting and making new friends online most of the people you meet online are complete strangers it is found that many of them use fake identity identity now children do not make friends to the unknown people if you don't know that person don't be friendly okay whomever you know very well it's a classmate or a school friend be friendly with them only in the internet do not um, get friendly with the stranger unknown people in the internet it is very very dangerous okay some fake people they make the wrong identity uh, and they uh, become friends and finally what they do they do fake with you all so be careful select strong password and never sh ever share them with anyone your password should not be shared with any one do not share your photograph or video with anyone especially a stranger without your parents permission people can misuse them your photos and your videos should be very uh, kept personally because it should not be shared with unknown people they can misuse it they can make a fun or a, um, of it okay so be careful of sharing these things in case you come across any uncomfortable situation over the internet always share with your parents or elders yes if you are finding any uh, unnecessary chatting any messages are coming which is uh, not friendly uh, people with you have uh, some awkward things is happening you always should share with your elders with your parents with your brothers or your sisters okay do not keep it with you you always should share avoid responding to any message that makes you feel uncomfortable if you are not liking any message any pictures any uh, any information that is coming in the internet you should always avoid it you should always delete it or you should always lock them out okay so you have to follow some safety rules and the last thing last topic of this book is responsibilities of a good digital citizen digital means we are all using uh now we are not coming to school we are using digital way to teaching and learning so this is what digital so as a good citizen what should we do let's check out here the present time is known as a digital era since most of our work and life revolves around the internet there therefore it is quite essential to keep the internet a good and safe place for every user as a good citizen of a country we do not have certain we do have certain responsibilities towards a nation simply as a good and responsible internet user we also have some responsibilities these responsibilities are a set of manners known as netiquette okay like children as as a good child as a good bo uh, son or a daughter we have a responsibility towards our family towards a house so in the same way we have a responsibility about our nation also a country where we are living okay so we have to maintain some good um, habits while using internet so this is called good digital citizen so how can we do the term netiquette is the combination of two words net and etiquette 
net refers to internet and etiquette refers to a set certain manners as you all know etiquette means the behavior your good behavior the good uh, ways okay so here we have netiquette which means net etiquette okay so we have to show a good uh, netiquette while using internet so how can we do it let's check out here always make sure that you use polite and address everyone with proper greetings you should be very polite you should not be rude while using your internet or messaging your friends or relatives while writing a text message avoid comment uh, committing spelling and grammatical errors it is always better to read your message before sending yes after writing the message you should always read it once before sending it do not just write and send okay just go through it once see the mistakes you have made do the correction and then only send the messages avoid typing any message in all caps since it is considered as such shouting and yelling yes you should use small letters okay the first letter only should be capital remaining should be small do not write everything in a uh, capital letter that means you are uh, like angry you are showing your anger okay it's loud it's not good all right never copy someone's creative work piece of writing music photographs and videos and present as yours to others it is considered as stealing and it is also punishable if you are using someone's content then it is recommend recommended to acknowledge the honor of the contents and the last thing you should not copy anyone's music pictures videos or any thing and showing to other friends that it is yours you should not copy this it is punishable the if the owner comes to know they may uh charges you okay and they might punish you so these things you should keep in the mind while using the internet so children we have come to the end of the chapter now please go through the book and in my next class i'll send you the pdf of all the question answers and the exercises and till this chapter it's coming for your final exam so please study well okay thank you